Hello everyone. Since my last bushcraft video, uh, there have been some people out here and they took my milk crate and they, it looks like they bugged out somewhere else. So I'm back at my original location. Today I'm planning on trying to start a fire with just tinder and my titanium stick. Uh, if I have to, I will use a cotton ball that's soaked in petroleum. But I'm going to try not to do that. And the other things I'm going to do, are, I'm going to set a trap with some peanut butter on a rat trap and see if I have any success in catching anything in the next day or two. I'm also going to practice with my slingshot there. And I have some target set up. You can see see the beer cans over there so it's another reason why I'm out here and I've showed you this area before it's just like endless resources lots of wood water everywhere there's tons of wildlife and so right now I'm going to attempt to start this fire with just my titanium stick and in the uh, tinder that I have there. Okay, that's the bundle right there. I built it ahead of time. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank you. So uh, I use lots of little pieces of wood and we're going to see if we have some success without using the petroleum. So let's give it a try. See, I'm getting lots of sparks, but I'm not getting any tinder to ignite it. Break out one of my cotton balls. Really need to get some very fine tinder for that to take a spark. But I don't think I'm going to have a problem with this cotton ball. So let's give it a try. These are very easy to make. They're very cheap. Petroleum jelly is very cheap. Cotton balls are very cheap. And you can just keep them in some kind of Ziploc bag. And let's give that a try. Let's see if we have any more success. So it's always as easy as it looks on TV, so it's always
always a good idea to try this stuff out before you really need it. Spark. No ignition. I have had success with this method before. It's just not working out. Right now. Okay, I didn't want to have to resort to this, but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use these cotton balls. It should only take one mat. If you guys have any suggestions, please share them with me. Let's, I think that's going to ignite the pile. Let's give it a chance. Then we're going to practice some of the other things I came here for. It's always a good idea. Bring your cell phone, something to drink, maybe something to eat if you're going to be out for a long period of time. And it looks like that cotton ball is going to do the trick. I should be able to keep adding to that fire. And uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see I have had luck with the titanium strip. But today I just, uh, I just didn't have that luck. So it's always good to have more than one fire starter. I usually have five or six different methods of starting a fire including flares, you know, the cotton balls, matches, lighters, you know, you can't just rely on one thing. And I'm going to start adding to that fire, so you'll be able to see a full-fledged fire before long. You can hear those gunshots, it's deer hunting season, and uh, I don't have my license, but I have plenty of guns to hunt with, but I plan on getting my license so I can get some fresh meat. You just want to add to the fire slowly, small pieces, until it really gets going. A frame that I have going is a great way to make sure your fire is getting lots of oxygen. And I have a pair of leather gloves over there, which is a great idea to have. And then this can go all the way up to a bonfire at this point. Like that right now. 
long as you keep adding wood slowly and keep the oxygen going. And don't put too much at one time. You're going to be able to add as much wood as you want. Get it to the size that you want. To get it to the, how warm do you want to be? Are you cooking? Are you trying to stay warm? You just want some protection against wildlife. You know, just add slowly. And, uh, start off with dry wood. And if you do have some wet wood, if it's wet out, eventually, if, once you start getting red coals, you're going to have enough heat to dry out some wet wood. Wet wood. So for right now, I'm just going to keep adding slowly to it. Eventually, I do have some bigger pieces to add. There's so much dead wood here in this, uh, this forest. It's, it's just like a never ending supply. I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable with all these shots that sound pretty nearby. I see which I had my shot in my room. Anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, you can just keep adding as much as you want. That's okay, that fell down. It'll be alright. So you get the idea there. Now I'm going to find the spot. Oh, I think I may be able to catch something with this trap. Sorry about that. I've got some peanut butter on the mechanism there. And I'm just going to put this trap right in the footpath. There's lots of squirrels and possums and raccoons, snakes. There's all kinds of things out here. So I just want to see if I if this is actually going to work. It's recommended by the guy from Dual Survivor. And if this is successful, I'll definitely buy some more of these traps. And if I do catch something, I'm going to practice skinning it. Because I've never skinned an animal before, except for a fish and a chicken. So, I'm going to try that out. And I'm going to just set this in a pathway. This is definitely where a lot of foot traffic comes through here, but I'm not so sure about animal traffic. But I'm going to put this somewhat in the open. I don't want anyone to step on it. It could probably break their toe. So I'm just going to leave it kind of in the open and see what happens. You see I have my target set up for my slingshot. I'm shooting marbles today, I'm holding my steel balls until I really think I might need them. And marbles are much cheaper to shoot and they're still very effective. But I'm just going to set up my trap right there, right in the wide open. So like I said, nobody will step on it. Yeah, we'll just see if I have any luck. You know, I'm not doing this to have food for survival. It's just a test. And you can see I've got lots of water, dead wood. There's, there's fish, there's frogs, there's turtles in here, there's crawdads. I mean, this is just a great place to try and survive if you had to. 
But I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much for watching.